much we're disappointed with that one. Um, you know, to get out to a 16-4 lead and then to have them run you down again tonight. So. Um, yeah, well, it was really disappointing that five minutes before half time. I think that cost us the game ultimately. Um, you know, I was actually, I actually thought we fought really hard second half. Um, Dobbo, I think, um, you know, we lost Saab, Jason Saab early, and then we lost Turbo in the second half. Um, you know, we lost our hooker, Gordy Chan, um, to HIA, so a little bit all over the place. Um, so I thought we, you know, to give ourselves a chance to get back into the game, we fought hard, but yeah, the five minutes before half time was was way off. Like they scored three tries in three consecutive sets, so that was um, that was disappointing. After we, um, you know, I thought. Uh, played you know decent footy for about thirty minutes there. What's the early verdict on chronic sore injury? Not too sure, but it's um, it's a hamstring injury from what I understand. Yeah, so I'm not sure um, how bad it is. And an AC for Jason. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, again, he needs a scan on it, but they're telling me it's a grade three, so I'm not sure um, exactly how many weeks that means. But yeah, we we lost both those guys for a, for a period of time, obviously. Is there something, is it frustrating, and, and Chez, you might be able to answer this as well, that you guys are getting out to these leads and, and it's happened three or four times a season and then it, it's going back. I understand how tight the competition is, but you, you guys are actually dominating and then it just seems there's small moments in the game where it's you're giving them a chance. Yeah, um, we're in here talking about the same trend again, so it's, um, it's something we need to fix um, and it's something that all of us um, can help each other with. So. We, yeah, we've got to change a few things, obviously, to get the result that we're after. Because at the moment, we're obviously not working hard enough on us on a couple of things out there. So, um, yeah, we can fix it. Um, we just got to work a bit harder at it. I guess Anthony, it's, it's really going to test your resilience here, isn't it? And, and your depth, I suppose. Yeah. We, we, without Tom in particular, because he's so important. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, definitely. I think. Um, yeah, we had a few guys out already tonight, Hamole and um, Lockie Croker and Nathan Brown. So, um, you know, with Sabi and Turbo um, going down tonight, obviously puts a, a pretty big um, you know, tin in our in our squad. But um, you know, there's a you know, there, there is a group there that really care about um, you know the footy team, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll obviously um, you know, put a team together next week and um, ex you know, expect to come back here and. Um, you know, put in a, a better performance for long periods. So I think, um, you know, we've shown that we're a good footy side and we are, we're a really good footy side. We've just got to play, um, yeah, we've got to play our best footy for longer periods. And, um, so it's going to take a, a you know, group mentality. We're going to need all our, our guys. We're going to have to fly a couple of guys um, in from Sydney tomorrow um, or Saturday and and we'll get to it again next week. Are you frustrated by it, Seebs? I mean, you, you, you get your game plan set and, and when they execute it, they're, they're getting it. It's clear that they're getting the job. Are you frustrated as a coach at the moment with with those five minutes before half time lapses that the team seems to be having? Um, look, you know, obviously that's a, um, you know, a frustrating sort of you know, period tonight. Um, like I said, I feel like um, you know we're, we're playing some really good footy. We've you know, every game that we've lost, bar the Dragons game, we you know we've we've put ourselves in a position um, you know to, to to win the game. I suppose you could say. Um, yeah, you know, so we'll we'll get there, um, but you know there's a couple of things in and around our resilience. Once something goes against us, we've got to you know we, we've got to find a way to to you know um, hold that sort of momentum against us, and and that's what we're working on. Um, yeah, but I'm still really proud of the start that we've had. Um, yeah, but it's, yeah, there's some things that we need to to, to build upon, and we're going to have to do it with um, with a few guys out, obviously. Staying up here before Magic yeah. Round, what, what's the plan for the next week? Yeah, no, the, well, the plan is we we've obviously um, travelled to, to America and New Zealand, and we've already come up to Queensland once. So we're just trying to um, take away a little bit of travel um, for the guys. Um, we're going to start on the sunny coast and and do our prep into the Broncos game there. And um, you know, I think it's the right time. Like we, as I said, we've done a lot of travel for a Sydney club. You don't normally have to travel too much, to be fair. And we've done a lot, so um, yeah, we'll give the boys yeah an opportunity. To not get back on the plane tomorrow, and um, as I said, we'll, we'll try and get our best best team together and our best prep, and um, you know the guys will go go at it again.